Way to go. You did an awesome job, man. I'm so proud of you. Hey, stop. Stop? Yes. Let's stop? Okay. I'm gonna go. Alright, ready to go? I want. This one? There we go. There you go, buddy. Good job doing your work. Now I go. Hey, stop. Hey, stop. Now Ella said, you know, it's his second time coming to see me. And he walks in, he was energetic, he was ready. He was on fire. He watched it like, haircut, haircut. I'm like, oh, <laughs> Ella's better. Hey, my guy. You want to say hi to everybody? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Good to see you again. You ready for <laughs> Ellison is his personality by nature is a class clown. <laughs> and so if he knows what he's doing is making you laugh, he's going to continue doing it. And it just becomes the fun thing that he does. So once he saw the reaction from Vernon, I'm not surprised that he just continued it. I couldn't help but get a kick out of it. At one moment, Julie was like, Vernon, I, I, I'm sorry, Vernon. I'm like, no, no, no. But listen, it's, it's, let, him, <laughs> let him do his thing. I, I will stop and go as many times as necessary to make sure that he had a great experience in the chair and we get through it. I was not expecting it. He's never done that before. And I was trying really hard not to crack up. Um. <laughs> and stop. And stop. <laughs> Historically for Ellison, I normally have to sit with him in the chair and bear hug him so that he doesn't swat the scissors out of the stylus hands or you know, he's never wanted the clippers anywhere close to him. He's always freaked out about it and it, it takes a very long time and we're on display in the middle of a salon. And it's nice that we have a place to go now where we're not judged and, and everyone's comfortable. I think that Vernon has a cool energy. He was just welcoming to him and treated him like a human being, like any other client and worked with him and, and followed his lead. And I think that means a lot to any person and Ellison appreciated that and in turn felt super comfortable with him. What I try to do is make sure I talk to the, the child as a client and not, you know, to the parent. And typically I leave the parents to be like to the side if I'm allowed to, right? If the child is doing good enough by themselves, I have to have the time with the child so we can build our own connection and work through this process together. I know what it feels like to be insecure. I know what it feels like to to not be accepted. I know what it feels like to, to be looked over and looked past. I know all those things. And my own journey had started with me learning how to love myself, learning how to accept who I am and how I was designed and how I was designed to give and receive love. Being able to share that in principle with the children and with the families is what I'm bringing and what I enjoy sharing with them. I hope people can see just that everybody is unique in their own way and everyone wants to be included. It's just having that safe space to bring my son to just get a haircut like anybody else needs to get and it's not an ordeal and it's not a traumatic event and the fact that it's not costing me anything is a bonus. Like I would pay whatever I needed to pay to make sure, you know, my son got the same experience. If people come into all the situations being fully who they are, they'll be amazed at how beautiful friendships and relationships can blossom from that place. Hey, stop.